first question, back right. Kevin, Ron Krejcik from the San Francisco Chronicle, back here. Um, you guys had been shooting so well on threes in the playoffs before this series and then struggled, obviously, a lot the first three games. What changed tonight? Did you get better looks? Did you how, – how did that change so dramatically? Well, we felt, we felt like, um, you know, there's times throughout the series where we got uh, consistent looks from the outside and maybe, uh, you know, didn't, didn't knock them down. We felt uh, particularly the same, same thing in, uh, in game three here at home. But I mean, they're they're great at defending both, uh, you know, in the full court fast break, um, and in the half court, whether it's a, the paint or the three point line. I mean, uh, field goal percentage defense. I believe they're first in the league. So um, you know, you can't can't overlook that. But tonight, just with Braun and Kyrie pushing the pace like that, and um, you know, you got a freight train and a guy that's uh, probably best ball handler in the world uh, playing downhill like that and, and, and finishing and get to the free throw line and being so aggressive. Uh, I think that opened up a lot of a lot of shots for us. And uh, we were making the extra pass and shooting with a lot of confidence. Front row on the left. Uh, hey, Kevin, uh, over here. Uh, Aaron from Globe in the Philippines. Uh, my question is, Coach Tai and all the, all the rest of your teammates are talking about the confidence. And you just brought it up right now. What is it like? playing for a coach and teammates that have that much confidence in you, that you're able to make those shots now? Sure. Well, we, we have a uh, you know, very veteran coaching staff. I know that Ty is only, you know, he, you know, he moved that, that seat over and, and you know, became the head coach uh, you know, what, la- middle of last year. But um, you know, he's, he's been great for us. Um, you know, our entire coaching staff has had a lot of years, uh, put in a lot of years, and it's no different with, with the, the veteran group that we have out there on the floor. Uh, in our bench as well. I had a couple, number of guys this year played a number of number of years in the league. So I think that confidence just comes from experience and uh, you know, a lot of guys being here before, and a lot of guys, you know, whether it's their first time, being hungry to, to get out there and, and, and make a difference for us. So it's it's you know, we feel like it's a number of things, and uh, you know we needed everything tonight. Uh, I'm just on a follow up. He also said a while ago that he didn't give a motivational speech. Who who's the guy that did the motivational speech for you guys here today? Uh, our, our motivational speech was, you know, our backs against the wall. Game game four, of the finals needing to win. I mean, I think, uh, you know, I said it after game two that, um, you know, if you can't get up for these games, especially coming back home, um, you know, being at a deficit, then you know you might as well go home. So, uh, you know, we're not going home. We're uh, we're going back to Oakland, and we need to take it one game at a time. I know that's cliche, but that's the truth. Chris, fourth row back. Uh, Kevin, Chris Mannix with the vertical. Obviously, no margin for error still moving forward. But is there any confidence you guys can derive from you know, basically being one shot away from maybe winning game three and coming out and winning like this in game four? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, the, the Warriors, their team that, that executes. I mean, game three was you know, obviously a tough pill to swallow. But uh, we felt like we played you know, pretty good. And we were only a few plays away from, from winning that game. Um, you know, but tonight, we, we felt. We pushed the pace, and uh, what, uh, I think we what, scored 49 in, in, in that first quarter and uh, had a great first half. So that set the tone for the, for the rest of the game, and we're hoping that, that carries over going into game five. And you guys were, were by far the more physical team out there tonight. Was that any kind of point of emphasis going into this one, to be more physical? Sure. I, I think uh, it's probably a, a – you know, it's not like a – Something we put on the board, or something that we, you know, is uh, what do you call, uh, you know, board material, that sort of thing. So we just, uh, we knew we had to make it physical. We knew we, we, that's part of who we are. But it, you know, I feel like we say that every game. But tonight we kind of, uh, you know, took it to them first, and I mean that was very telling for for the rest of the game. We felt like, uh, you know, that got them into playing very physical. There are a lot of fouls on both sides, but. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's part of it. We feel like you know, that should be part of the game. Kenny on the right. Kevin, Kenny wrote at WHBC. <laughs> what is it about the Cleveland Cavaliers and adversity that brings the best out in you guys? Uh, you know, we're a resilient group, a uh, resilient team. Um, and we've been in this situation before. We know that, um, you know, listen, every, every, every year is different. Every, every playoff series, every game. But um, you know, we just we just a team that that never we never count ourselves out. We feel like uh, any game that we walk, you know, we walk on the floor, 
and we have a great game plan, and, and we expect to win. But um, we just continue to have that fire, continue to be to be resilient. But you know, right now it's, it's just becoming you know one game at a time, one quarter, uh, each possession being huge for us because uh, you know that can be that can make or break a team. How much did it help you tonight with Tristan being a, a force on the inside and maybe allowing you to? Uh, have more energy for for your offensive side of the game. Well, I mean, he found it wasn't just me on the perimeter, but you know, he was catching the ball, being aggressive, and, and um, you know, really finding guys. And uh, I think when Tristan is so active and and you know, being who he is, and that's one of, if not the best, offensive rebound in the game, and and a guy that brings energy every single night. I mean, it's 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 you know, uh, tough to tough to fail when you play that hard. So good things are going to happen, and, and we saw that tonight out of Tristan. Last two questions here. And then one. Ray Jasky, ESPN 990. Is there any sense that uh, not just a physical game defensively and a hot shooting night offensively, but that the Cavaliers have somewhat figured out the Warriors uh, to, to be so uh, lost against them the first two games and then to play them so well and, and almost win the game and then build on that and take over? Is there a sense that there's no mystery here now? We know how to play them defensively and offensively. I mean, that team has so much firepower that it's, it's tough to say that you can – figure them out. I mean, they have so many weapons and uh, they're so well coached that uh, we, we know that they're, they're going to make some adjustments and we're going to have to uh, do the same. Um, you know, they're a team that, uh, that is, uh, you know, extremely tough to guard. And we, we felt like we forced them into a lot of tough shots tonight, but they still got into their actions and, and, and got a lot of, a lot of good looks. Last question, fifth row back. Um, Bill Bender, Sporting News. Uh, Kevin, you hit three first quarter three-pointers, uh, so what allowed you to settle in, and did you feel like that was contagious in you guys hitting, you know, 24 three-pointers for the game? Sure. I mean, we, uh, especially getting off to a good start, uh, that gets um, everybody into it, uh, including our crowd, and we feed off that. Uh, we've always always played well here, and, you know, we use that to our advantage. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks.